Hello and welcome to a new style of video on the ride, training day, wherein I go for a training day with an elite athlete who will tell us about the particulars of their workout, the goals they're trying to accomplish with that workout, and how that fits into the bigger picture overall. Today we're heading from my home in Boulder over to Louisville in Colorado to ride with 2016 Olympic gold medalist Gwen Jorgensen, who's doing some motor pacing. Today's a moto session. It's uh, 12 times, basically four minutes, where I'll do like a 10 second attack, sit on the motorbike for 30 seconds, come off the motorbike for 30 seconds, sit on for 30 seconds, come off for 20 seconds, and then two minutes on the motorbike again. So basically doing those efforts when I'm coming off the motorbike and uh, hopefully, today will feel okay. It never feels great, right? <laughs> never feels great. Now, I'm interested that you're doing attacks because being an ignorant person, I think of triathlon as like a steady state thing. I realize like Olympic tri is a little bit different, but you know, how often are you doing these you know, more intense efforts in your regular training? Well, this is why I love the triathlons I do because it's all draft legal and it's on circuits often. So it's a lot of coming out of U-turns, um, so a lot of attacks. Um, and so I really got to work on that speed and I find it way less boring than just like a time trial. So yeah, um, I do this sort of workout a lot and it's something that I definitely am continually improving on. All right, I will try to hang on for dear life. Oh, you're going to be fine. Thanks for letting me tag along. <laughs> you'll have to you'll pass me at certain <laughs> points maybe. <laughs> What's the secret snack? The this secret training snack? The secret one for, for Gwen. The tamale. Holy tamale. <laughs> you don't have to but it's loaded tamale. with carbs and it's just, I mean, it's savory. So it's a break from all the sweet stuff. I mean, I'll... They need to sponsor me because I, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely awesome. love them. Okay, so we've been riding for half hour. Look. Oh, you did it, so now what's happening? We're doing 30 second effort, 20 second effort, and 10 second effort just to keep going down. So I'm going to ready? As ready as I'm getting. Do you like to train warmer than you race or you just like to be warm all the time? I just like to be, I'm always cold. So I just like to be warm. And I mean, I do, I guess I could say I'm heat training because I have a race coming up, but I'm not heat training. I just like to be warm. Abu Dhabi, here you come. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm overdressed though. It feels warmer today than the past two days. Motor pacing, will you stay? Oh, you're taking the vest off. Okay. Yes. But you'll just keep, keep tights on. Yeah, that's all yeah. I got. All right. Even keep my uh, booties on. What what does success look like for you in training? Is, do you have specific goals? That That's a great question. Like, like if I you're think... going for like a particular like FTP number or critical power number, or is it more of a process following what your coach has laid out and what you've bought into? I I think there's both, right? Like the the most important thing is to stay present, stay in the moment, and execute the process correctly. Uh, you know, there's also outcome based goals, right? Like on my sprints, I want to be above 10 Watts per kick, but I won't be looking at that. I send this off to like, uh, like a bike data analysis and then he kind of sends it to my coach, Jamie. Uh, but yeah, this is more just, I won't even look at my power meter. I'm just focusing on staying in it and focusing on correct form. Um, I have a new fit, so I'm trying to stay low, uh, things like that. There's a intermediary between you and your coach. Well, no, Okay. <laughs> there's just somebody who like I send my file. So like I won't lap this yeah. for instance. And so I'll send my file to somebody who can, he's really good at like extracting all the data. Uh -huh. And then he puts it into like a very easily to see form, you know, with like pie charts and stuff like that. And then my coach can just quickly glance at it and know. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. So your, I don't know. Do you call that an intermediate? So I, I'm calling your coach spoiled if he's got somebody like that teeing up for him. That's like, he's a pro yeah, coach, Adam, you're a pro athlete. I like this. Yeah, Adam Radford. So yeah, he's uh, he's the one that does my my bike stuff. I like data. How long are we behind the moto today? So this will be a total of, so I will lap it once, so I know, but it's going to be four to, or 12 times four minutes, which is 48 minutes, 48 minutes. Okay. Yep. I'll eat some Scooby snacks. Okay. Yes, yes. 30 seconds. Behind you. And then 30 seconds, just come off your wheel. 30 so seconds just, behind you, 20 seconds, come off your wheel. Yeah. And so, then two minutes. Seven twenty-eight miles per hour on the flats, down to 20 over these little rises. Wind's doing sprints out into the wind, and then we'll jump back on the moto to recover, but recover at speed, high cadence like this. Doing sprint bursts out of saddle, 10 seconds, full gas. And then back on the wheel, trying to recover at a high speed. So for today's session, I don't know if we ever made it super clear to the audience, but the point of today's session was a race simulation. So what you're incorporating today, there's a couple things. One, we have to be super aware of, you know, what's going on on the road in front, right? Looking for potholes, thinking about the ups, downs, etc. And then behind me, I'm looking at Gwen, and I've also on my on the bike, I've got her power meter tagged to another computer. So I'm looking at that as well, because as you know, those roads we were on are undulating, right? So the downhills, you got to go a little bit faster. The uphills, you got to ease off a little bit. And then behind, you know, it's an open road. So we're looking and trying to navigate maybe if a car is going to pass or the conditions on what we're, what we're experiencing. So we try to make it, you know, real life because that's what racing is, is it's not, uh, we're not racing on a velodrome where it's the exact same lap every single time. This is the course changes. And you're also, I'm also, what's harder for me to perceive on the, on the bike is which way the wind is coming from. So today we had a, actually a wind from the east, wasn't it? So thinking about when we were heading north, Gwen was off, kicked off to the left side of the bike. And then when we were heading south again, she was off on the right-hand side of the bike. And just also remembering if the roads are false flat, you're gonna be going a little bit slower, but she's gonna be working a lot harder. So I think you have to, if somebody's gonna be doing the motor pacing, it it's really a prerequisite that they understand cycling because the person that's behind, you know, they're going through a lot of different things when all you're doing is you know, navigating a throttle a little bit. It's not a big deal. So it's, uh, yeah, you've got to know probably the, the demands of the course and then the demands of what you're trying to get the athlete to achieve. All right. How was it for you, Ben? Super easy? It was fun. You know, it turns out a draft. I'm Helps. A big, I'm a big believer in the draft. Yeah. So sitting behind you was, was helpful. You could surge in front of me, though. You're stronger than me. That's okay. I'll admit it. How, how'd it go for you? How'd that feel? Yeah, it felt okay. Um, the first four went by really slow for me um and it was really hard and the last eight were just my legs were toast and at the beginning i i guess i was a little confused at the end if the two minutes i thought the two minutes was supposed to be full on but it was recovery and after pat said that i was like oh thank goodness because it was going to get to be a long session yeah it was good rate your motor pacing driver on a scale of one to ten. Ten, but you know my coach doesn't like him because he's uh too soft on me <laughs> he knows that if he drops me, there might be trouble at the dinner table. How long have you been doing motor pacing? I did motor pacing quite a lot from 2013 to 2016, and then I took a break from triathlon until last year, and um, we bought the moped. When did we buy the moped, Patrick? In the summer. Last summer. Um, so, yeah, then we've been incorporating it again. 
it's a good way to get some speed and uh, feel race pace uh, without having training partners, which I'm often lacking. Work with your coach with the, with the motorbike. Obviously, worked very well for 2016. What have you tweaked, if anything, from that year's formula? We've tweaked a lot from 2016. So I used to live abroad for eight, nine months of the year, and now I'm mostly at home with kids. So yeah, it's it's you know even last year there was a lot of tweaking because I had an infant, and so just breastfeeding, sleeping wasn't different. But I feel like I'm in a really good rhythm right now. Um, I have a training group that I've been swimming with. Um, but yeah, it's 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 very different, but also much the same. A lot of the same workouts. What is the what does that say? What is what's the Wahoo tell us? So I only did an hour fifty eight, so thirty one. So I'm you know a minute thirty shy or whatever. Um, sixty six k. So we averaged thirty three. Our max speed was sixty k an hour. I do everything in kilometers per hour. Is that going to be okay for your audience? Kilometers good. So My, yeah. It sounds faster and longer, which is why I like it. <laughs> Uh, let's see, my max power was 641 and my average was 166. My normalized power was 194. My left to right average is never on par. At three seconds was 638, five was 606, so that's good. That's above 10 watts per keg, which I was talking about earlier. 20 seconds, 411, uh, 30 seconds at 388. And I didn't really do any efforts over 30 seconds. So yeah, that's kind of the workout the day. We'll see what my data analyst says. Well, thanks for letting me join, Gwen. That was super fun. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Best was... of luck to you this year and best of luck in Paris. Thank you. Maybe you can be my new training buddy. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. <laughs> thanks.